everyone. I am Tiziano Leonardi, music teacher of Giovanni Cena from Cerveteri, Roma, Italy. The goal of today is not to show what I do in a self-referential way. I say this once and for all, but simply to make a quick reflection with various topics to bring my experience as a musician. Home life is doing this uh, and not other. And we'll try uh, to understand these possibilities and characteristics to undertake one type of musical path rather than other in the same art. Surely many concepts that we will talk about are known to you, obviously, but talking about it, perhaps proposing concrete examples of lived life, uh, can help someone to raise the awareness that music can be a good way, a good work of, a good work of life. Our maximum does not necessarily have to make us the greatest in this or that field. Uh, I see many people rowing uh, if uh, feeling the stress of having to become the best. It will be fantastic, but uh, uh, <laughs> it probably will not happen. It seems obvious, but having a certain adherence with your possibilities and making them fruity is the first step to make your best and overcome stress, overcome problems. We have to try. When I started studying, um, I didn't have the perception of my future. It's uh, really difficult to have. But uh, we have to understand that determination is decisive for a musician's life. But when it risks becoming an obsession or something that doesn't make you feel the many possibility to catch, it becomes deleterious and is no longer called determination, it becomes another thing. So, having goal always clear, a quality that I have gradually learned is that of sight vision. When well, uh, you are determined uh, uh, on one thing, but you must not lose sight of the possibility that come and that unconsciously try to get us. The path of studies is sometimes detached from what work may be in the future, uh, which is why it will be important to compare uh, ourselves with older people who have already developed a musical consciousness and uh, who will demonstrate uh, uh, what to learn from them or not to learn, why not? <laughs> and for example, harmony and the musical aesthetics and um, history of music are the discipline that uh, regulates the relationship between us and between uh, uh, history, histories um, in Western musical aesthetics. When I studied them, I saw um, an uncertain material, a boring material. Why I am doing this? Why? But I soon realized that the music that I played until now, and uh, still sound, and I will sound, is based on certain rules. And we know this very well, obviously. But when I realized that this new knowledge could help me in seemingly distance, seemingly, distant things, I started playing my cards to improve the musical. Uh, for part of writing, vertically, uh, I will never be believed that after some time uh, the discipline of conduct the parties, uh, it, uh, I would exhaust it by harmonizing the chords of my group from the study of uh, uh, harmony uh, of four parts. My group has become famous throughout Italy uh, by the vocal ensemble, uh, of which today I am also a member, and uh, of which I also provide for the arrangement. While you, you do the educational path of uh, any kind and instrument, it can certainly be uh, you will come across numerous disciplines which concern the various aspects of music, of course, uh, you will not able to do everything, at least uh, not at the same time. And once you have 
set yourself a goal, you must always remain ready to see uh, the benefits that the various aspects of the educational path can give. Uh, a fundamental step will be the one in which uh, once, once adults uh, and ready to do uh, so and after obtaining the degrees, uh, you can teach. Yes, it's very important. Experience that I highly recommend both to connect uh, with other people uh, and to always have clear the musical content in which you believe and to make it objective, extroverted by us and give it a further way for the life. Let's talk about the main subject of our chat. Play. To play. Play what? There are many aspects that uh, may interest you. Today the music is much smoother than uh, it was a long time ago. Mm, that is, and we also see it from television programs where modern, classical and commercial music come together more easily. Uh, uh, that is, uh, that uh, there are various fields in which you can move without feeling like uh, traitors. Uh, you do it. Uh, you can stay uh, true to your soul disposition uh, that studies uh, for hours a day and teach uh, or record a pop song, for example, at the same time. Why not? As far as I am concerned, I want to introduce you uh, to moments that uh, I do what's dearest to me. Play alone, a company of a singer, uh, make chamber music and be a keyboard player of uh, an important uh, uh, 50 years old the traditional uh, pop group of Italy called I Cugini di Campagna. This is my group. I can tell you uh, things that uh, I don't do, but that I would like to do in the future as a, a musical arranger um, and uh, run a home studio where to record music. The important thing is to understand that the things that you learn as younger uh, and as older, are certainly useful enough uh, that they can be used for all the things that you can do. So let's say something about this uh, marvelous piano sonata by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, the number 8 in A minor, the number of catalog is uh, 310. Mozart uh, um, wrote this piano sonata when he knows about the death of his mother. Why I say this? Because it's important to, to reveal, to understand the context that inspired the author. Okay? It's very important because uh, you have to uh, match, to be in tune no? with the, the, the emotions, the, the reasons, the context that uh, suggest music to the other, not only for the interpretation when you are uh, presenting this, no, the, the sonata, but for the study too, because if I know that Mozart play, uh, composed this sonata for this reason, I know that the first notes, the first chords of the, of the hand, of the left hand, will be not uh, as uh, start to study them but I start to study with the right with the uh, good with the uh, winner uh, condition with a dramatic condition with the dramatic condition that Mozart wants so I have to uh, start feeling the good and the real uh, contest okay another thing that I want to say Maybe you know, but it's important to, um, to say that, that you have to study by memory, no? uh, remembering the score and uh, learning separate hand, first the right and then the left. Why? Because music is full of geometry, score is full of math, uh, mathematics. It's full of uh, geometry, it's full of uh, graphic signs that are the start of all, not the contest. 
If you want to know about music, you have to escape from this. Wait, you have to know. So, Pedro, you have to practice many times. You have to know the theory. You must know, obviously. But this is the start. You have to escape from this because music uh, hide, hides uh, itself behind, behind the notes. You have to search, learning by memory, and uh, remaining alone with the instrument and with the author. Okay, let's see something about this piano sonata. <laughs> wants to make the things in the more in a, the faster way as as possible our brains tell us lies because uh, uh, you think that you are playing in a determinate way but the <laughs> the truth is could be other so an artist make zero the gap between the things you are thinking and the things that the people that people can listen you have to make fluid the path from your thoughts into the world you have to know your mental rules and the mental rules of the world the possibility of match you have to go in uh, harmony with the world so uh, I listen about Mozart uh, I missed some notes uh, like here so I need muscles I need uh, um, impulse nervous impulse so I um, try to make my own strategy to make this. This is not a philosophical level like before. This is a uh, craftsmanship, this is a, a, an, an, an artisan level, a level of artisan that make mechanical things to do the uh, fundamental level that will be matched with the um, mental level, with the level of the contest of uh, the music with the uh, knowing the poetry of the musician no you have to swing from uh, a, a word to another okay you have to know when my path my characteristic my my studies bring me to some musical genres, not into the other, not to the other. I can play pop rock, progressive rock, I love this. I cannot play jazz, blues, soul, that's not my genre. I am coherent, I know. When my group, my band, the Cugini di Campagna, calls me I, I was happy, I accept because the genre of my 
Bam is pop cool. Okay, it's important to remain current uh, with own characteristic, with own origin. But you can make a um, transversal uh, study because uh, I'm gonna play a Genesis song, the intro of Fifth of Fifth, but not in the way that I was uh, written. In another way, in a way more classical, I try to um, transversally bring classical properties of music, the dynamic, the into a song that was composed, uh, that was recorded without these things, without these musical aspects, okay? So, hello, this is Isabella, a clarinet player. So, we're going to make um, an aria. So, it's a melodious piece, um, wrote for sax by Eugene Bozza, but the um, transcript for clarinet, okay? The character of this piece is the melody. The melody that is very important, is very struggle, and the piano is going to um, to hold, to to help the melody to shine, to make the the goal, okay, his goal. Uh, this is a, an emotional piece that uh, we are trying, we are studying now for the first time. So it's important to um, study the single part of everyone. So uh, she studied his part, I studied my part. We're going, we try to match this part for the first time. Ergin Bozza, Aria. Thank you. 
Erika a soprano. Uh, we're going to play a Puccini's opera. Only one area, obviously. Si mi chiamano Mimi, from Bohem. This is the first area of Mimi. And we're going to play in a, a special place, Erika's home. And um, I'm gonna to um, substitute the orchestra, because you know that uh, opera is uh, singed by a soprano, by a mezzo soprano, by a tenor, with the orchestra. But not always is possible to play with an orchestra, so it's an uh, important thing to be a maestro accompagnatore, that play the piano as an orchestra. We're gonna to play. Si, mi chiamano Mimi, from Puccini's Bohème. We have come to the end. We're talking about some aspects of musical life, about the peripheral vision that will always allow us to understand the new possibilities that will come, and of the fact that many things that I thought useless in my course of study have come in handy to do what I do now. I want to leave you with a last goodbye from us. Remember that for every arrival, there is a new departure for another destination. Hello, guys. Uh... I want to leave you a, a little greeting with my uh, favorite group, so it's... Uh...